Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will try to understand the intersect operator in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will try to understand the intersect operator in SQL Server with an example. So how intersect operator actually works that suppose if you have two tables, table A and table B and suppose there are some matching records in both the tables. So the intersect operator will return you the matching records between both the tables and it will select only the distinct records from both the tables. So if you look at this particular image, so we got two tables, table A and table B. And if you look at the records in the table A, so we got three records, one, two and three. And in the table B, we also got the three records, two, three and five. So if you closely look at these particular tables, so the records two and three, they are same in both the tables. So the intersect operator will select the similar records between both the tables and it will select only the distinct records. So we will understand this with an example. So let's jump to the demo. So here I got two tables names 2 and names 3 and names 2 table contains 3 records while the names 3 table contains 6 records. Okay. Uh, so there is one important thing before using the intersect operator in SQL server that the order and number of columns should be same and their data type should be same while using the intersect operator. So if you look at this particular tables names 2 and names 3. So we got the columns like name, DOB and age in names 2 and same column exists in names 3 as well. However, the number of records are different. So in the names 2 table, this Abhishek and Amar, this record, this is the same record which exists in another table. Okay. And uh, this Ahmad record, this does not exist here. So when I will try to use the intersect operator, then it should return only two records, Abhishek and Amar, because those records exist in both the tables and uh, it will return the distinct records from both the tables. So how we can use the intersect operator? We simply need to write intersect in between the two queries. Okay. So it, right now we are selecting the data from names two, and in the another query, we are selecting the data from another table. But this query can return the data from any data set, you know, it can select data from multiple tables as well. So you can use the intersect operator on two different data sets. So now if I execute the query, then it should return only two records. So you can see that it returned only two records because those were the matching records. Uh, let me just uh, try to run it at the same time so that we can see the different, you know, result. So here you can see that this is the result from the names two. This is the result from the names three table. And this is the result from the intersect query. Okay. So this is how the intersect query works in SQL server. So I will share the names two and names three SQL server tables along with the data so that you can create it in your environment and you can test the queries. Yes, yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.